This is a timeline of the history of New Zealand's involvement with Antarctica. Pre-1900s 1838–1840 French and American expeditions, led by Jules Dumont d'Urville and Charles Wilkes. John Sack, a Maori travelling with Wilkes, becomes the first New Zealander to cross the Antarctic Circle. 1895 New Zealander Alexander von Tunzelman becomes the first person to set foot on Antarctica, at Cape Adair. 1899 February British expedition led by Karstens Borchgrevink, including several New Zealanders, establishes first base in Antarctica, at Cape Adair. This expedition becomes the first to winter over on the continent. Topic 1900s. 1902 Scott Island, formerly Markham Island, was discovered and landed upon by William Colbeck, seaman. Topic 1910s. 1910 Robert Falcon Scott leaves for Antarctica from Port Chalmers. Scott's party later died on the return journey after being delayed by a blizzard. 1914 Four New Zealanders H. Hamilton, A. J. Sawyer, N. Webb, and L. A. Weber are members of Douglas Mawson's Australian Antarctic Expedition. 1920s Nineteen twenty three Ross Dependency proclaimed on the thirtieth of July as a British territory entrusted to New Zealand. Point one nine two eight US Navy Rear Admiral Richard Evelyn Byrd leaves Dunedin for the first sea air exploration expedition to the Antarctic. Bird overflew the South Pole with pilot Bernd Balchin on 28 and 29 November 1929, to match his overflight of the North Pole in 1926.1929 Combined UK-Australia NZ expedition led by Douglas Mawson, New Zealand members include Ra Faya and R. G. Simmers. 1930s Nineteen thirty three New Zealand Antarctic Society founded. Topic Nineteen Forties Nineteen Forty six New Zealand joins the International Whaling Commission to help oversee whaling in the Southern Ocean. Nineteen forty nine First publication of New Zealand Antarctic Society Quarterly Journal, Antarctic. Topic Nineteen Fifties Nineteen Fifty Five In August, the New Zealand Government decide to establish an Antarctic base as part of its contribution to International Geophysical Year. Nineteen Fifty Seven Fifty Eight Point One Nine Five Six McMurdo Station established. Construction of both Scott Base and Amundsen Scott South Pole Station started. Point One Nine Five Seven Two Zero January Scott Base established in Ross Dependency. New Zealand Geological Survey Antarctic Expedition NZGSAE of 1957-58, named the Borchgrevink Glacier. Hallett Station south of Cape Adair is established as a joint New Zealand-United States operation. Bill Cranfield, John Clayton, and a New Zealand scientist arrived at the South Pole by air aboard a U.S. Navy airplane, 19,584 January Edmund Hillary, leading an expedition using farm tractors equipped for polar travel, arrives at the Pole, the first expedition since Scots to reach the South Pole over land, part of the Commonwealth Trans-Antarctic Expedition, Hillary was the first New Zealander to reach the South Pole overland. New Zealand Geological Survey Antarctic Expedition NZGSAE of 1958-59, named the Mountaineer Range. United States Operation Deep Freeze starts, based in Christchurch. 19591 December Antarctic Treaty signed with other countries involved in scientific exploration in Antarctica. New Zealand Department of Scientific and Industrial Research DSIR established an Antarctic Division. Topic Nineteen Sixties 
1964 – January Walter Nash becomes the first Prime Minister of New Zealand to visit Antarctica. Hallett Station destroyed by fire. It is not rebuilt but is used as a summer-only base until 1973.1965 The first flight from New Zealand to Antarctica made by a Royal New Zealand Air Force C-130 Hercules aircraft 1968 Marie Darby becomes first New Zealand woman to visit the Antarctic 1969 New Zealand Geological Survey Antarctic Expedition NZGSAE of 1969-70, visited the Scott Glacier and named Marble Peak and Surprise Spur. The 12th of November South Pole visited for the first time by women, four Americans, an Australian, and New Zealander Pamela Young. Vanda Station manned for the first time. Topic: 1970s. 1970 Antarctic Amendment Act comes into force. 1972 1974 First solo voyage to Antarctica, by New Zealand born yachtsman and author David Lewis. 1974 December Joint NZ France Expedition makes first ascent, and descent into crater, of Mount Erebus. Antarctic Museum Centre opened at Canterbury Museum in Christchurch. 1975 Prime Minister Bill Rowling had a formal proposal made at the Oslo meeting for Antarctic to be declared a world park. 1976 Thelma Rogers, of New Zealand's DSIR, becomes the first woman to winter over on Antarctica. 1977 New Zealand proclaims exclusive economic zone of 200 nautical miles, 370 kilometers, which provides for the zone to also include Ross dependent Tendencies Waters. 197821 Stone Anniversary of Scott Base 1979 The Mount Erebus Disaster, an Air New Zealand DC 10 crashes and 257 people die. 1980s Nineteen eighty New Zealand is signatory to the Convention on the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources, which comes into effect in 1982.198220 January Rob Muldoon becomes the first sitting Prime Minister of New Zealand to visit Antarctica. June Antarctic Treaty Nations meet in Wellington to discuss the exploitation of Antarctica's minerals. 1987 Closure of Scott Base Post Office reopened in 1994. Topic nineteen nineties nineteen ninety five closure of Vanda Station nineteen ninety six Antarctica New Zealand established on the first of July to manage the government's interest in Antarctica. Topic two thousands Two thousand six October to January two thousand seven, New Zealanders Kevin Bigger and Jamie Fitzgerald become the first people to walk to the South Pole without the aid of any supply dumps. Their plan to parasail back is abandoned. Point two zero zero seven Prime Minister Helen Clark and Sir Edmund Hillary, aged eighty seven, travel with an official party to Scott Base to celebrate the fiftieth anniversary of its founding. The 4th of June first New Zealand Antarctic Medal NZAM awarded to geophysicist Dr Fred Davey. <laughs> 